Hello, it's time to give Silver Pine Forest a review. I'll be covering these four topics. You can find all of them except for the fourth one in picture format in the video description below if it's more convenient for you. So why would you level here in the first place? What's the good stuff about this zone and what's the bad? Nearly half of the quests are rich on experience. 15 rare mobs, the quests are linear, and overall, there's a lot of levels you can ding here. Unfortunately, there's a ton of cutscenes and roleplay between NPCs going on here, which slows you down. A lot of quests involve an NPC companion that helps you kill mobs with above average strength. Unfortunately, these NPCs are buggy and tend to despawn and spawn repeatedly due to phasing issues. Some of the quests are strangely scripted. For instance, dying in the middle of an NPC roleplay tends to screw up the quest entirely, which forces you to redo it. Alright, time to go analytical. Before I start throwing up numbers, these are the criteria on which they're based. All heirlooms equipped, war mode on, completing the whole zone, 100% mount speed, and the hasty hearth guild perk, which reduces your hearthstone's cooldown by 50%. I haven't used any enchants, no consumables, nor did I get help from any other player. I've also skipped killing rare mobs. I've settled on 1 hour and 38 minutes to be the average time to complete the zone without going AFK, dying, or taking breaks, plus the criteria included. Depending on from which level you start, this is how many times you can ding in Silver Pine Forest. Now we can deduce how many times you can ding per hour elapsed. As a reminder, there are 15 rare mobs in the zone. Because the zone's quests are linear, I don't think a pre-planned route is necessary. But either way, I've decided to include one for the sake of using your hearthstone optimally, if nothing else. Unfortunately, I don't have the means to implement this stuff into an add-on, so we will have to settle with this map for now. This is where you start, and this is your first path. Once you complete number one, head back to return the quests, then do part two. The same approach applies to every other part. It looks chaotic, but if you invest at least three minutes of your time to study it, then it should start making sense. If you think it's a smart idea, you can put it on your second screen. So, that's my analysis. To sum it all up, I would rate the zone as a cross between mid-tier and top-tier. The zone is linear and rich on levels, but the way how most of the quests are scripted can stab you in the back if you're not careful if you don't know what you're doing. Subscribe if you want to see more, unsubscribe if you hate me, follow me on Twitch if you want to see me pretending that I'm good at video games. Otherwise, have fun leveling, or at least try to, until another time.